Today I'm going to show you guys how to add player colliders to your Gorilla Tag fan game. This is actually going to be for your um, your actual model. So like your 3D model. You made one of these if you've ever made if you made your if you made a 3D model. This is for 3D models like in Blender that you made. Because nobody seems to be posting it and it's actually pretty easy. I don't know if anybody knows how but this is how. I just thought of this on my own. Uh, kind of just made this up. I have no clue if it's uh, real or if anybody else has done it. But yeah. So first what you're going to want to do. This is my. This is what it's uh, going to look like. It's going to kind of look like a T-shaped. Alright, so first what you're going to do is you're going to go to your scripts. And you're going to get this script in the description. So, uh, get this in the description. Make a C-sharp script and name it this with no spaces. Name it exactly that. Player colliders with no spaces. Then you're going to grab the file in the description. Click into it. Delete. And then control A it. Control S. Save. There, now you got the collider script. Now what you're going to do... Go into your resource, photon, player. There we are. You're going to create a empty. You're going to call it collider or player collider. Player collider. Player collider. Now, oops. Now what you're going to do, do this. You're create a sphere and you're going to size it up with your head I just thought of this uh, just now by the way guys I was doing with cubes originally and I looked at it and I was like it's not going to look that good yeah I think I created this I don't think there's a tutorial out there that does this way I also don't know who made the script, so I'm sorry about that. If you guys find them, tag them. But yeah, so you're gonna make the sphere like this, right? Make it, make it around uh, bigger than the head, I guess. Now you're uh, Control C, Control V, drag it down and make it about the size of your body. So you can use this tool right here to bring it down like that. Control C, Control V. This up a bit more for the arms. Now you're just gonna do this. So yeah, I'll you you guys get the point of what I'm trying to do. It's kind of like making the model in a. Uh, in uh what do you call it in unity so just do this but yeah i'll just play this up a bit all right so it kind of is gonna look a bit awkward but they'll be invisible anyways now what you're gonna do is Click on this and do this so they're all grouped together. So if you don't know how to do that, click on sphere, your first one, your head, and shift, and then click on your last one like this. You're going to delete the sphere collider, add component, look up mesh collider, right? Mesh collider. Uh, convex is trigger. If this doesn't work, we'll take it off later, so just stay tuned. Uh, now, what you're going to do is stay on that. You're going to add component, add the player, collider script, add that. This is what should come up, by the way. Um, you might have done something wrong, so this is what's going to come up. You're going to do for photon view, click on that, this little, uh, this thing, player, and then for disable. We're going to drag all of these, so everything, into our player collider uh, empty. And now what we do is do that again, group them again.
drag this whole thing into there. So drag the player collider into there. Now that's it's not over yet. You're gonna drag player collider under your model name, so new chimpanzee model in my case. And going to group them all together again. Now this looks a bit odd. Uh so you're gonna now once you have this, once you're on this step, now you're gonna go into your materials. Sorry that this is so messy by the way. I'm gonna clean it up later. Go into here and you're going to create a invisible thing like this. So if you don't know how to do that, let me show you real quick. We're gonna go to create, create material. Uh honestly. Uh, now you're going to go to rendering mode, transparent, that's what will happen. Then you're going to go up to shader, you're going to do transparent, you're going to go to the second one, and now it should be transparent. Now, instead of having to manually do this because we got things to do, you're going to click on sphere, group again, I think it was this one, drag that onto there. There you go. Now it should be an outline of this kind of. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to run a test. Alright, so we're going to play test this. So here's our guy. And now, uh, there's somebody in here right now. Ooh. I'm a bit laggy on the PC, guys. Sorry. Okay. And now let's just go over to a player. So now if we, oops, keep forgetting you're super fast. See, now you can bounce off of them. So as you guys can see, that's how you have it. Now I can bounce off of them. Ooh. So now you have player colliders for your Gorilla Tag family. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe even drop me a follow, you know. I honestly haven't seen people do this this way. Uh, if somebody has, you know, tag them. But that's just me. Uh, anyways, if you guys like this video, let me, uh, let me know. Anyways, I'll see y'all later.